and this is how I feed them. I have a room temperature, actually it's probably a little bit warmer than room temperature, bottle that is full. I have a mug with another bottle full of milk because they'll drink on this one. And I, oh, I unzip the thing and whoever comes out first gets fed first. And I do let them clump around because it seems like they eat better when their brothers and sisters eat with them or like move around with them. So it's a little bit more difficult for me, but they eat better. Oh, and then if they don't latch on, like he latched on, but then he had a problem. Then I have to check the nipple. Okay. Because it will sometimes. <laughs> oh, look. Look how excited. Oh, I know. There you go. Oh, you got it. Oh, and then once the nipple's been cleared, they'll go and latch back on. And some of them are better at this than others. And then you can tell when they're kind of done because they'll start biting around it. And then I just pick them up and I put them over here because they I do at least one more round. Okay, okay. And some of them will nurse for a long time. Like the silver and the black one normally just nurse for a really for a while. And then they don't really nurse that much again on like the second round. But the other three like nurse twice. They don't drink as much each time. And the silver one almost never gets up. And comes and eats. See, I say I'm done. I'm done. Okay, hold on. It's not your turn. It's not your turn. And I know it seems like chaos, but this really has been the best way. If I don't do it this way, if I like trap them in it, they just scream and scream. And not one time has anybody fallen off the bed. <laughs> yeah, I know. You'll have another turn. See, I have to wait till up almost every time. Or her. Yeah. I have to wake her up almost every time. So I just fill it back up, put the lid on, shake it a little, test it to make sure it's not too hot. Here we go, I know, I know, did your feeding get interrupted? And the other three, besides this one, are playing right back here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't 
don't know if you can hear them, but they're purring. And I want to see if you can see this one. When he nurses, his ears go back and forth and his tail shakes. Well, it's not, it's not doing it now because this is the second one. But if this was his first one, his tail would be going back and forth. Just like his ears. It's really funny. No. Then I will take and I will weigh each one. Here's silver. And he is 10.9. And then I will take him and I will I will clean them up. Yeah. But they've gotten really good actually. Um, except the black one and um, they don't actually need to be cleaned that much and then I potty them now how I do this I found the easiest way I know a lot of people hold them up but I don't is I hold them kind of like this and then I hold their tail now I don't pull on their tail don't hold them still with their tail but I just hold them kind of with my back part of my hand and I take um, a baby wipe and I do short strokes and like he's going to pee pee right now and you want the pee to be a pale yellow which it is and you want to make sure you're covering both the pee and the poop place Like he's going to poop in just a second. You can kind of tell, um, but I will edit that out. <laughs> um, she did go poop and she's still peeing. Sometimes they pee quite a lot, um, but it looks like they're done. And then what I do because she pooped is I write it down by their weight I put a little pee by their weight and if it's not regular poop then I do have other things like other initials that I put by it but now this one is yeah say I'm done say I'm done do you hear mm, until I held her up she was purring um, so now I'm just gonna put her back and she will go to sleep